Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I actually have a huge, well, not huge, but huge for me, Morphe order. So me, my sister and a friend of mine, we all went in on an order together so that we could split the shipping from Morphe. Um, so I got, I ended up getting like five pallets and then they both got two each. So I just thought I would show you what I got and what I think of them and stuff. So the first palette that I got is the Morphe Brow 8 palette. So these come really well packaged. They've actually got like a whole lot of bubble wrap inside. It's like two layered bubble wrap, so they're very well protected. And then the little palette is inside. So this one here, I actually have used it because I've had it for like a week now. <laughs> um, so this is the palette on the inside, so it's got six powder shades and two cream shades that you can use to carve out your brows and stuff afterwards so that is really good the pigmentation is awesome I used the, um, the shade here on my brows today and yeah the pigmentation is like insane it's so good um, so yeah that is the Morphe Brow 8 palette that one there and um, the next ones I got they're actually limited edition but I really really wanted to get these ones. They are the Bronze Mocha 25B and Copper Spice 25A. So I'll show you these ones. These are the ones that have the um, clear front. So you can see my lighting set up. Sweet. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this is um, the Morphe palette. That is the colors on the inside. It's got some really nice neutral and shimmers straight down the middle and some kind of like plummy red kind of colors on the outside. So that is those ones. That palette is gorgeous. Um, and the Copper Spice palette, same thing, has the clear front, but this has got more of the um, copper tones, so grays and blacks and stuff, more of your neutral tones, and then you've got your copper kind of shimmers through. So these are really, really pigmented. They pick up in like one swipe, and they lay down in one swipe. So they're like amazing. I cannot fault the um, pigmentation. Um, they're really, really amazing. And they transfer onto the eyes just as good. Like even with a brush, they're just as good. So. Yeah, I'm really happy with those two palettes so far. I've had a bit of a play around. I created this look with the um, next two palettes that I'm going to talk about. Just gonna get this orange off my hands because it's that pigmented, it just like stains. <laughs> and then the next ones I got are probably like the most sold, I guess, I don't know. I don't know, they're always out of stock every time I've gone to get them. So I got them in the pack. It's Morphe 350M, which is the matte palette, and 350S, which is the shimmer palette. So I created the look that I'm wearing today with a little bit of shimmer using both of these. So this one's the matte palette. So it's got quite a variety of all different kind of colors. So you've got your oranges and everything, taupey and purpley kind of browns, um, lots of like matte highlight shades and then your um, like normal browns and kind of transition kind of colors. So that one there is the matte palette. And then this one is the shimmer palette. So that's the shimmer palette. So it's essentially the same layout. A couple of the colors are a little bit different, um, but you can pretty much see like same kind of thing, highlight shades, oranges, torpy browns, and then like what would be your transition colors, but they're like in a shimmer. So these are just as pigmented as any of the others and they transfer like crazy. They are so pigmented. Um, I've only played around with these like a couple of times because I don't always go like full on makeup for work every day. Um, so I haven't really had a chance to like properly sit down and play around with them, but so far so good. Um, yeah, all the palettes, they're really, really sturdy, like, even though they're, like, made out of plastic, they are, like, cheaper packaging. They still feel really sturdy, like, they've got a good clasp close to them, because they click. Um, 
I reckon these would be really good to travel with because they're like so slim. But yeah, they're, they're really nice. I just need to find somewhere to put them amongst all my makeup storage because I'm kind of running out of room. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really happy with the palettes. Um, I'll swatch a couple colors from each of the palettes for you. So this one is the brown. So like the matte shades are really pigmented. The shimmer shades are really pigmented. This is like a plummy, purpley kind of color. They're all like really, really stunning and pigmented. So I've got two mattes and a shimmer. They obviously um, lay down better when you're using a brush, I feel. Like you can pick up quite a lot of product on your fingers, but I feel like they just go down a lot nicer when you're using a brush. Because obviously you can blend it and it's not going to be so harsh. Um, but yeah, so that is a couple of colors from the, ooh, what's it called? Bronzed Mocha palette. Okay, so the next palette is the Copper Spice. So I'll swatch a couple of colors from this one. So as you can see, there's like all your mattes up the top, matte, that gold is amazing, holy shit, wow. Um, and the black as well, black is a big one because it's really hard to get a properly pigmented black that won't like transfer splotchy, which it still kind of does, but I'm sure again, like I said, when you use a brush, it is better to apply. That gold is incredible, wow. So yeah, that's just a couple of colors from the Copper Spice palette. The brow palette's pretty generic, so I won't bother swatching those because you can kind of see the shades there. Some cool and warm tone shades. Um, the 350 Shimmer. So I'll do a couple of colors here. I've got the orange, this pinky gold kind of color and one of the brands. So you can see they're all very, very pigmented. I literally just dabbed my finger into them and swipe. So they're all really, really pigmented. They're beautiful. I love these like champagne-y pink kind of colors. They're like stunning. I'll probably do something like with that kind of color for like a um, bridal look or something. Um, but yeah, these palettes are like so functional for pretty much everyone. Um, Cause there's colors to suit every skin tone. Okay, and then I've got the 350 matte palette, which is this one here. So same thing, very similar shades to the shimmer palette. So I'll do like the same kind of orange. That's that one in the top corner. Transition brown and a matte deep brown. So these ones transfer on. They're very, very pigmented. This transition color is gorgeous. It's like an orangey yellow kind of color. Um, really good for like darker skin tones, I, f I feel. Um, the couple of times I've used it on people that have like really dark tans, it's like the perfect transition color. Cause it kind of, um, it's not, neutral to their tan like it's not lighter than their tan it's kind of around the same shade and it just adds a little bit of definition to the crease so yeah that is all of the morphe palettes um my sister when she went in on the order she got the same as me so the 350 s and m and then my my friend that went in on the order she got the um plum palette and the taupe palette so two palettes as well and they're both gorgeous like they're so stunning um all of the morphe palettes are beautiful but yeah i didn't realize how nice they were until i physically saw it in front of me but yeah anyway so i We'll wrap it up here. If you want to see any more unboxing videos of hauls that I do in the future, I've got a ColourPop order arriving soon. So let me know if you want to see that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.